was fearless about asking for help and getting people smarter than me to help me be successful um, in the things that I was in front of. When you are asked, what do you want to do next? Have an answer, be clear, know what you want to do next. Unfortunately, sometimes I think, you know, the word ambition, particularly for women, has a very negative connotation in some terms. Oh, she's so ambitious. Well, you know. <laughs> It's good to want something and to make that very clear to people is, is essential. We hire 2,600 people directly into my practice off campus every year. Millennials are absolutely no different than us. They just want to talk about it a whole lot more. Um, but that being said, I have found that shifting the conversation to purpose and impact makes an enormous difference. I think it's so important that we do lead with authenticity. I think that it really um, is very important to be able to understand what your strengths are and really hone those strengths and focus on those. Any company that I am I'm, you know, meeting with or looking into, I always look at, at the composition of, the, of their boards. And, and it always amazes me how many boards are 100% male. There is this network among you know, the men where they sort of recommend each other. And so I think sort of women need to do the same a little bit after college, a business person told me that, you know, the thing with you is you march to the beat of your own drum. And they made it sort of a very negative thing. And I thought about it and I was like, what's wrong with that? You know, I'm an engineer, I'm a woman, I'm a minority person. If I didn't march a little bit to the beat of my own drum, I wouldn't have gone in a different direction. There's this woman named Eugenia Chang. She had an article recently in the Wall Street Journal about perfectionism, and I think that she said it really well. Basically, when you're letting go of perfectionism, you're trying to optimize not the absolute outcome, but the ratio of outcome to effort. So that's what you're trying to optimize. So like I'm doing whatever I can to the maximum of my ability, only until the point where you know the return starts to drop. You can have amazing strategy, amazing processes, but if you don't have good people to do them, it, it won't work anyway. The one thing you'll realize as a leader or manager is you're only as successful as you know, your team. I think we have a hard time supporting each other, supporting other women. But I think opening it up and understanding that men are out there supporting each other all day long. We find ourselves channeled into our individual lives and to take the time to come to an event like this, it's a big deal in our day, isn't it? And thinking about how do we do more of this, that it's not just, you know, blindly cheerleading, but truly having those more authentic relationships between each other where you really are supportive I think is really important.